Okay, this is kind of a fun day for me because I am going to be moving my dialogue to a new dialogue book. Okay, and so I think one of the things that that I was intimidated by when I started was I kind of didn't know how I was going to use it, and so I didn't know which inserts to buy, and I will um, show you kind of how I use my book, and then um, we're going to put it together, and I'm going to make an art journal. So this is my... Um, notebook. So I meet with my um, accountability partner every week. So 2020. So what happened? Oh, wow. That's weird. That's February 2020, right before everything happened. And I don't do it in any order. And I put in their Santa Claus for my kids and um, my goals plotting out some, oh, there's 2019. So this covers a wide range. I think it's time that I can do a new one. And I'm not sentimental. So I'm not um, going to save this for posterity and look at my goals and things like that. I'm never gonna do that. I'm gonna turn this one into an art journal. But what that tells me is I need a new insert book for my notes. So I'm gonna use this grid one. So number one, I need a notebook that I will meet and take my notes in and do things like that, okay? So that's number one, I need to have this one. And we're gonna put it up here for a wee minute. Okay, next, in my notebooks, I have this one. And this one is kind of my art notebook. Look at my artistic ability. These are all the different faces. These are edge doodles I can do. These are faces. So this one isn't very full. It has some things, like it has, I was practicing my alphabet. So I kind of like that one. I like this one very much. I like this one, nobody else likes it, but nobody else matters. So this one, I'm gonna keep. Oh look, there's I. There's my son, Josie. How fun. I was gonna use it for a traveler's notebook like you're supposed to, and I did one trip. So that wasn't as effective as it could be, but the beauty of it is I will have those pictures and everything of Josiah forever. Okay, here is a folder. So this is a good folder to put stuff in. I like to have that. Here is a, um, I have two of these. I don't know I need two of these in here. Um, and they used to have more stuff in there, but I took it out when you guys were looking at my book one time. Oh, I like this better. So this is a halfsy halfsy. This is, um, that's for my hospice thrift store. And this shows me when, this is kind of important to me. This is, shows me what days the Kimberly house has um, sales. So I am gonna put this in here. And then this just goes around something. So we'll figure that out in a minute. And then this was a um, art journal that I started and I was kind of doing, oops, some different backgrounds that I found out I didn't like, which is good that I did it in an art journal. I like some of these pages very much, but um, like that, I don't like. I just feel like that looks like a hot mess. So I am going to put this with this in my little spot where I keep all my extra journal stuff. And if I ever want to revisit it, I can, but I'm going to use that old, this old one to make that one, so I have three, right? I have my new notes one, I have my derpy drawing one, and I have this one that I'm gonna make into an art journal. Okay. And Diane usually has like five or six um, in hers. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm not a big black one, although I, okay, so here's the thing. 
I'm going to put those in my, that's where I keep my extra dialogue journals. Okay, here's the thing. I got the classic journal. I don't think it's, I think it's in the other room. That has black pages. And so I do think I'm going to want to, so it has black pages, craft pages, and scrapbook, or no, cardstock pages. Um, so I think I am going to want to get better at doing black stuff. So I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to be right back. Okay, I wanted to grab this bag because this is the bag I've been using in my pocketbook, but I really did find that I like Diane's bag better. I don't know why. I thought I would like this to put stuff in, but I don't use it. So I have been using Diane's bag for stamps, and so I'm just going to swap these out. So I'm gonna use Diane's bag for my journal again and use this, I got this cute, super cute one. Isn't that fun? At Michael's. So we're gonna put that up. I think Diane's is better made too. Okay. So now let's think about what we need to have. So I'm still trying to get my journal stuff together. We're not there yet. Okay, so a glue stick is nice to have. Pencils and a really good eraser. If you're not using these white erasers, you need to get one of those. Okay, I thought I would use Sharpie markers, and I do not really use Sharpie markers, so I'm going to I'm not going to carry these around with me. I'm going to put them in my um, stash of stuff. Lip pen is my favorite <laughs> pen. Um, okay, so I have a big uh, Posca black pen. I have a little Posca black pen, which I feel like is all I need there. I'm going to put that in to take over to my thing. A little ruler. My pencils. This. I don't need that. Everybody could use a Sharpie marker. Oh, scrapbook.com. Gold. I have a gold one in the other place. And then I have a little tiny multimedia mat. This is um, glue. This is glue, and I think I'm going to put this Lawn Fawn glue in there because I use Lawn Fawn glue a lot. Okay, perfect. Now, I am also going to put this cutting tool in there, um, but I need to get another one because this is my only um, X-Acto knife, and I feel like I need an X-Acto knife at my desk, and I need an X-Acto knife at, to take with me in case I want to cut some of those pages. So I need to get another X-Acto knife. These are gonna go into my regular stuff. And one of these days, if you wanna know what's in my big um, container of stuff, let me know. Okay, so now the fun thing about this is this fits right around here, and then I can carry everything with me. So, all right, we're getting ready to move stuff over. Okay, so the way that Traveler's Notebooks work are you have, like I love this stencil, so I'm gonna, but I don't love to have those things kind of as around stuff as Diane does. So I have four notebooks because we have this one too that we need to do, oh, we should do that first. What, do I have five notebooks? No, I have four notebooks. Two, three, four. Yeah, I only need four. I don't need any more than four because I have enough stuff in here. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this over here. I tend to keep these because I have shared these with friends um, who wanted to get started and weren't sure. And then here's, this is so cool. This is a cutting mat that fits into Diane's uh notebook covers, right? If you haven't seen my video about where I made the custom notebook cover, I have a um, traveler's notebook cover. I have a whole video about that. This isn't what I'm looking for. Okay, 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 okay. All right, this is what I'm looking for. All right, so we are going to make this an art journal. And the way that I do art journals is I pick paints that go together. So we're gonna do these guys. 
We're gonna do these guys. We're gonna do this guy who's just nothing but trouble. Well, I have to have yellow ones. We've got some green. All right, that's, oh, I've been trying to do more red, so let's do a red. And let's do a, um, like a vintage -y color one. Okay, so we're gonna start here. So what I wanna do is I want to um, make the middle of stuff uh, a color, and then I need a big, I need a big brush. There's a big brush. I just cleaned this today. I have one big brush? Seriously, this is not good. All right, we're gonna have to use the big Dina, Dina Wakely, which is a gigantic brush. Okay, um, the other thing about uh, Distress Paints, this is Abandoned Coral, um, is they work really well with water. So, you may be thinking, oh my gosh, what are you gonna do? You can see those words through there. Could not care less, right? Um, if you wanted to, you could use an opaque paint, um, meaning you can not see through it, but I really just don't care. It's gonna, oh, there's Christmas, Santa. So let's do a little Santa over here. To me, that just adds to the fun of these pages. And this has to be a ways back because Brittie's boyfriend isn't in here. And they have a six month old baby. So Kevin would have been in here. Okay, let's do the red around it. So I kind of like uppy downy outsides. So I'm gonna put, maybe not all the way around. Oh, I guess I have to do all the way around. I didn't go to the edge. Maybe on some of the other ones, I'll go all the way down to the bottom. Um, so I'm just gonna put an uppy downy border around this. And this is candied apple. Oh, that's too much. All right, we'll put it back in if we don't use it all. The nice thing about using Dina's brush is it's kind of almost the exact size I use for my uppy downy, uppy downies. There we go. I just put my book in the paint. So if you're new here, you need to understand that my husband says that my style of artwork is just going back and fixing problems I made for myself. And I don't know that I can blame him. Oh, you know what we can do with that paint? If we still have some left over, we can do a wee stencil on here. Use some of it up while we got it. So I think one thing, good golly, Miss Molly. Okay, let's clean this. And you will never see the front of this book. This isn't a, um, well, you'll, I mean, you'll see it as you flip it open and, and close, but you'll never see this. It's not a, and if I, and if, and if that bothered me, I would just decorate it. It's decorated with Diane's style, but if I, if that paint bothered me, I could just do it in my style, right? All right, let's grab a stencil. This was the last one I was using.
There we go. Cute. All right. I am good. Don't ever do this. This is a bad, bad thing to do. I do it all the time. Don't take your paint and put it back into your bottle because you can contaminate your paint, right? It's a bad thing to do. Uh-oh, nope, nope, nope. I actually don't want paint on my cover. So I am going to clean that off. But, Okay, so two things. I just put the stencil on top of here and it got a little funky, right? So two things. Number one, um, distress paint is water soluble, so until it would be dry, 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 it would be fine. And second off, I Mod Podge that cover and so it, um, it, ha it has its own water resistance. And if you just shut these pages up like this, like I did, you're going to, um, there's a good chance they're going to stick together, right? So if that bothers you, don't do that. Okay, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to do a bunch of pages and I will be back. Okie dokie. So... Gosh, I've been bad about putting my uh, paintbrushes in the water this week. Okay, so now I have this done. And I didn't do all the pages, but I did some of them. And I can hear some of you right now thinking that that would bother you to have the, um, the writing underneath it. I didn't pull these apart fast enough and they got stuck. Uh, I did, oh, this one has a hole. Maybe I'll cut a hole in that page. So let's do that right now so you don't have to be nervous about my page with a hole in it. So this is what I would do in real life. I would grab this. This is a self-healing mat or a healing mat. I don't know if it's self-healing. And I would go to my bag that I would have wrapped around my planner. My planner, my dialogue, whatever it is whatever you want to call it. And I would come here. And I don't want to cut it off. Got to scooch it over. Boop, boop, boop. I think it's about time for me to change my blade in here. And I would come down here. And then I would come over here. And I would cut a little hole in this page. Didn't quite get through there. See that little bit that's hanging it up? There we go. And then over here, we gotta cut down this way. And that may be tearing a little bit because, oh, thank you, Johnny. I forgot my coffee. I would literally forget my head if it wasn't stuck on. The family would have to spend the day reconnecting me with my head. So, there's a hole. So, instead of feeling bad about the fact that there was already a hole in this page was weak, I just cut it out, and it will be fine. It'll be fun to work with. Okay, so now, let's talk about... I'm going to put my book together. So, I have four, right? We said I have four... Once, so I put my two that I write in, in the front. So this is gonna be my new note notebook and this is my funny things. So what you wanna do is I put mine in the front covers or maybe a few pages back. And you need to get one of those rubber bands, okay? So here's one of the rubber bands. And you get four of these. I don't know. I don't, I think you, uh-oh, my rubber band died. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, we're going to have to think that, now we're going to have to think about things. Okay, I know I have another rubber band. It's a miracle it lasted as long as it did. I'll just order some more. Where's my other rubber band? I know I had another rubber band in here. 
Is it still in this one? All right, I'm gonna go get, I'm sure I have more rubber bands. I'm gonna get some more and come back. Okay, crisis averted. And you'll notice my thingies expanded. So this is gonna be the one I'm gonna use. This is the one with my funny doodles in it. This is the art journal I made, and this is the black one. Now, I wanted to show you, one of the reasons why that broke is I've been using this for years. That's the first one that's ever broken, of course, on camera. So what I will do sometimes is I will rip these out and then I have extra pages to use if I wanna make a flip out page or something. And then also for a while there, I was using it as an actual, she has an agenda one that's Monday through Friday. But since I've become a blogger slash grandmother, I don't have anything exciting to use. Oh, and I found these. I thought you guys might like to see them. There's other systems. Jane Davenport has a system. And so she has um, like, these are loose papers that you can put under the, the bindings and you can use watercolor. And then Jane also has these pockets that are kind of fun. So I have like a Diane pocket and a Jane pocket. These are plastic. So I am probably gonna put one of those in. I don't need watercolor paper right now. And the cool thing is you can mix and match them. Oh, here's one of the nice journals that my husband got me. This is amazing and it takes um, a different kind of thing, but I am going to use this for my note taking now um, because I can put take in and put out, um, oh shoot, what are those called? Moleskines? Moleskines but I found that while I was upstairs. Okay, so let's assemble. We wanna think about what we have. We have four books. We have a Diane pocket, which is made out of paper. I have some stencils already in there. I have a Jane pocket that I may be able to put wet stuff in better. I have, okay, so I don't need two pockets, so I'm gonna put this aside. I have my big stencils and I have my little half a bag, half a card holder. Oh, and I have this cutty thing, which I need very much. Okay, so that may seem ridiculous to carry around with you, but if you ever saw what I take on my, um, on my trips, you wouldn't think that's ridiculous at all compared to what I take on trips. Now, Diane puts hers in the middle. I tend to put mine at the most a couple pages in. Um, and I didn't decorate. I'm going to go back to the last page I decorated. Oh, look, they're stuck together. I'm sure you'll be horrified when I tear my pages apart because they got stuck together. But it'll be fine. All will be well, you guys. It's just an art book. Look at that, look at that texture. See, you see a problem and I see texture. But we're gonna go back to the last one I decorated. We're gonna come like this. We're gonna put our rubber band in there, okay? And now it is, these guys are hooked together. I'm gonna put them in the back, so I'm gonna hook them through here. This is the back. And I'm gonna have those guys together, right? So if you were to just have two, that's how fat it would be. But I want my other two in here and I am going to trot right on over to scrapbook.com and order some more bands. I think that I gave my, remember I told you I gave my friend the blue book. I think I um, sent her at least one or two bands because usually I have a bunch of them. Okay, so we put our rubber band over here. It just kind of hooks them together. Hook together, boop, boop, boop. Slide under. And then we are good to go. So now I have a whole cool thing, right? That I can take with me anywhere. But I have my other stuff. So this thing, this thing goes in the back. Right there, that's where that one lives. And then these guys, I don't find these very um, interesting. 
So what I, I don't use them very much. It's just nice to have them. What I do is I put these guys underneath this. And they just kind of hang out in the middle here, right? It just kind of hangs out in the middle, sort of in the back for me. And then my folders, I'm going to put this folder, not over that loop, but around this. So I can have those stencils right up front. And then I'm going to put Jane's folder around here. Kind of easy to get to, right? My daughter, Desi, who you know, and my granddaughter, Emmy, are watching Moana, and I hear her singing right now. All right, so that's going to go there. And then this one, I kind of feel like I want this to be handy-dandy for me. So I'm going to put this one on this string. And then that'll be ready to go whenever I need it. Now, right this second, because this is brand new, it's kind of funky, right? Remember when I showed you the top of my other one, it wasn't funky? It's a little stiff right this second, so it's got to, we got to close this up and leave this here and give it a wee minute to get itself managed. And then, oops, I was going to show you, I think I showed you what I have in here, but we'll do it real quick. So I have a glue stick, I have collage glue, I have a lawn fawn glue stick, I have a cutter, I have these kind of erasers, which are amazing, uh, big black Posca pen, small black Posca pen, I could probably use a white Posca pen is the only thing I really feel like I need. Every once in a while it's really nice to have a straight edge. And that's what I carry around. So let me show you. That's the cool thing about these bags is, you ready for this? You just slap it on there, and there you go. You got everything you need to carry around. Now, it makes your purse really heavy, but I don't care. So, here you go. Here is the front of mine, the back of mine, and then my whole stack. So, hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.